Welcome back to Fly Tying with Table Rock Trout Unlimited. I'm John Zimmerman and we're continuing a um, brief series on jig hook flies and um, we're using slotted tungsten beads to tie this. Um, if you saw our or go look at the um, the burning ring of fire fly invented by Steve Harrop. We're going to use Steve Harrop. We're going to use a number of the same ideas as we used in that fly to tie our next one. Um, just a very different body material that you likely have not heard of before, but you definitely want to add it to your um, arsenal of fly material. Um, we're going to start out with a fluorescent orange thread that just like in that burning ring of fire fly we're going to take a little bit beyond the bend of the hook to create our hot spot and we're going to come back up to the top here to tie in our um, tail material which again is going to be Coke de Leon feathers um, Coke de Leon um, feather barbs if you are not using these for tailing, you really should be using them for tailing. On my personal pheasant tails, I use this material because it lasts so much longer than um, actual pheasant tails for the, um, the tailing material. You'll be surprised at how long um, this stuff will last, um, even after a, a number of fish have taken some chunks out of it. So just like we did in the the burning ring of fireflies, these two for me start out the same. I'm going to come back in with a different color thread to tie the rest of the fly. Hen's body material comes in a, um, a, a huge number of colors. And we're going to use an olive and brown mixture today to tie this little betis nymph. And one of the things that um, I do with this fly that I don't always do with the burning ring of fire ones is I'm a, I pull the, these tail fibers up a little bit and make um, one loop or at least one pass. And I'm going to make two. It didn't flare out on me as much as I wanted it to. A couple passes of thread um, to get those tails sticking up a little bit. Now we're going to make a, um, a brief taper here so that our hen's body quills have somewhere to go when they get on. We've got a nice taper going. And then we're going to go all the way to the back and tie in those hen's body quills. I'm back. I didn't have the color that I wanted um, right on me. This is body quill number 32. It's a mixture of olive and brown. And um, one of, this is a completely synthetic material, but it is neither as difficult to work with nor as brittle in the water as dealing with quills are. So I love the look of working with quills. I love what they look like in finished flies and I love fishing them, but I'm not a big fan of tying them, partly because they're so dang brittle in the water. Uh, a couple nicks with a fish and they're done. So we're gonna um, just use the rotary function of this vise. Actually, I'm gonna put a little um, half hitch in here so that this does not um, irritate me too much while I am wrapping this forward. And we're just going to make um, touching wraps with this all the way up. Now you see, um, I was being a little lazy there and um, not scooting the material out from the way of the hook point. If that had been a quill, we'd be starting over right now, but this material is so tough as a synthetic material that even that incredibly sharp hook point on that bar did not mess with it. So 
one wrap behind, a couple wraps in front to secure it. Um, cut the the hen's body quill close, and then we're gonna add a um, a collar of um, any any really anything that you any thing that you want that you think looks good I'm gonna go with a, a dark olive hair's ear dubbing collar but one of the things that um, I do a little bit different on a lot of my jig hooks is put the hot spot at the back um, hot spots have gotten really popular over the last couple years and I've been tying them for forever um, but there are so many flies with hot spots on them now and just about everybody puts the hot spot at the front so putting a hot spot at the back will give your fly a little bit of difference from everybody else's hot spot bugs so we don't want too much dubbing on this we want this guy to go um, straight to the bottom um, with that tungsten bead on it um, but that fly is going to ride like this in the water also not going to snag, not going to grab a whole lot of stuff, at least not as much as flies that ride with the hook point down. So again, this is just a simple little hot spotted jig fly tied with a material called hen's body quill. It comes in a, a plethora of colors and the only place that I know to get it is to order it from the Trout Legend store. That's troutlegend.com and they've got an online store and they carry um, all colors of hen's body material. So I highly suggest this fly. Um, get to tying and go catch some fish. <laughs>